As you put the review out, two days left in the first half of the year, what changes for you in terms of your positioning after six months of being really cautious? Um, well, I think the biggest uh, change is as we think about kind of the environment where yields have risen, is that we're actually, within fixed income, excited about opportunities uh, across the spectrum. So we have been talking a lot about front end of the curve, which we still like, but we're actually also putting cash to work across the broader exposures uh, in uh, fixed income, including uh, MBS, mortgage-backed securities, including inflation-linked bonds, especially in the US and also including high grade credit and local currency emerging market debt. And more broadly, as we think about what has changed, we're rolling out the new investment playbook where the first layer is around uh, macro based asset allocation. But macro can only take us this far in this environment of supply constraint. So we're also thinking about having the second layer of very granular, uncorrelated uh, individual uh, uh, investment uh, opportunities to all overlay on top of the first layer. And then the third layer is the mega forces that I just talked about. Where is the idiosyncrasy of artificial intelligence in the overlay that you talk about? Well, um, so far, if you look at markets this year, it's been a very narrow thematic market, right? So that has taught us that just <coughs> base uh, as allocation on macro assessment alone is not enough anymore. Um, so far, uh, we have talked about a uh, bias towards quality a tilt towards quality in our U.S. equity uh, allocation. But what we're doing differently at this media outlook is to break that out and explicitly call out a conviction in uh, developed market uh, AI, which we have had indirect exposure towards. But now we want to call them out explicitly because the interplay between the cyclical framing and the structural mega forces is so complicated and nuanced right. that we cannot afford to model them and mix them up together.